herself. Its veranda is adorned with attractive cast iron lace. The former Freemasons Hotel on our left is the oldest surviving building along Pall Mall, and next to it you will see a building numbered 110 with steps at the front. This is where the great retailer, Sidney Meyer, opened his first shop in 1903. The same year, electric trams came to Bendigo. The loss of Bendigo's public transport is certainly a sorry saga. Just a few weeks after the tramway closed, Bendigo people collected 5,000 signatures on a petition, together with 600 letters, leading to the state government to allow all the trams and most of the former Golden Square to North Bendigo tramway to be preserved as a tourist tramway. As a result, Bendigo's talking tram service began in December 1972, and we've been running ever since. So your ride today is part of Bendigo's transport history. For those of you who are halfway through your Talking Tram tour, you can break your journey and get off here and visit the Central Deborah Gold Mine and the Central Deborah Cafe. Ask the driver or conductor when the next tram is due so that you can continue your Talking Tram tour. If you are getting off here, please wait for directions from the tram crew. For those of you leaving us, we hope you've enjoyed the experience. And for those of you staying aboard, our driver will take just a few minutes to prepare for the next part of our trip.